This video is going to be very important for three sets of people. Set one, if you are a student. Set two, if you are still in your first job. And set three, if you are into some other job role and want to switch to data science. So I'll take my own experience and all the experiences of my friends, my network, and try to make you understand how is that a product based company is different from a service based company when it comes to data science. How is that the interview processes are different and the nature of work is different. Welcome to Unfold Data Science. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. Let's start with the basics. So what are the difference between product based and service based companies? So product based companies have their own product. These product can be a banking or insurance product. This can be a car, this can be a toothpaste or this can be a aeroplane. On the other hand, service based companies do not have their own product as such. They might have one or two here and there, but their main business is to provide services to these product based companies in supporting their data. So if I am a bank, my main business is to run the banking money related things, but I will also need support from someone to handle my data related things. So that is where I will need help from service based companies. So that is the difference at high level. Now, how is the interview process different? when you approach a product based company or a service based company. So one thing you must understand guys, uh, product based companies will always hire limited number and they will do targeted hiring. The meaning of that is they will not hire in bulk. Okay, their requirements are very specific. So if they want somebody with Python and Java or Python plus machine learning, then they will look for that particular skill set itself. On the other hand, if you talk of service based companies, they do bulk hiring. Okay. And their interview process will be more generic in nature. More generic in nature means they'll have a list of tools and technologies which they might consider for interviews. So when it comes to data science, they will ask for R profiles, Python profiles, SAS profiles, you know, Azure profiles. So all kind of skill sets they might take. What is the reason for that? The reason for that is service based companies have a huge set of clients and they work for lot of clients on lot of tools and technologies. Hence, if I am a Python guy or I am a R guy or I am a Microsoft Azure guy, they can deploy me in one other project. Okay. On the other hand, the product based companies, they work on a limited set of tools and technologies. So it cannot be like they hire someone and they can they have the option of deploying on multiple things. So that is where Product based companies do limited hiring and targeted hiring and service based companies do more hiring and generic hiring. The interview process also is little tougher for product based companies. On the other hand, service based companies is little easier to crack. Okay. And when it comes to salary hikes that they offer product based companies will give you more hikes normally that is the trend in comparison to service based companies. Now this was about the interview. Now, what is the nature of the work when you go in those companies? So one thing to understand here is product based companies will have data of one particular domain only. So if I'm a bank, I will have bank data, insurance data, transaction data, credit card data, all related to bank or finance industry. On the other hand, the service uh, based industries have their clients from different domains. So one service based company may have some clients from insurance, some clients from retail, some clients from telecom. So the difference is as a data scientist, I get to work on multiple data sets from multiple domains. On the other hand, if I go to a product based companies, I will be limited to one particular domain only. Now there are downside and upside both. So if you work on one particular domain for, you know, longer number of years, then you will gain in depth knowledge of that particular domain. But the downside of that is you will not have exposure to other domains. On the other hand, if you talk of service based companies, you get exposure in all the domains. So you get exposure to multiple domains, multiple tools, multiple technologies. So that is about the nature of the work. Now, one more thing to add here is in service based companies, if you go on little higher role, maybe 10 plus years of experience, there is a possibility that you will have to look after the management side of the project, which means I'm not saying this will necessarily happen, but you might not be getting the more opportunity to work hands on. On the other hand, 
in a product based companies all the employees are you know supposed to contribute hands on to the project so there is a very high possibility that when you are in a product based companies you will work hands on on projects but in service based companies there might be little less hands on for you especially in senior role and you know the learning curve might not be that high in service based companies point number 4 is on site opportunities so if you are eyeing for on site opportunities if you eyeing for you know going to us or europe or australia then service based companies have a better chance the reason for that is they have their clients all over the world okay and if they have requirement at that particular location they can deploy you there on the other hand product based companies have their you know they do not serve to multiple clients and hence the geographic location of their it it wing i am saying the geographic location of their it wings are limited so it will be in limited number of cities so the chances of if you want to go to on site are little limited in product based companies now the fifth important point here is how the growth happens so in product based companies year on year hike will be good you know if you work on certain things uh, you will be appreciated because there is less crowd you know you will have to take care of more things your responsibility will go up and at the same time you will be rewarded also for the work you do on the other hand in service based companies there is lot of crowd so it is possible that you might get lost in that crowd but on the other hand one more side i want to mention here is if you have very nice soft skills then service based companies is a good place to be because you will be you know elevated to the next level very fast because so many people are needed who can you know communicate with the business who can get new projects and all those things so that is on various parameters how we can see service based and product based companies one more thing we should understand is in product based companies there will be sometimes additional perks apart from your salary so uh, there are people i know who have been given some iphone somebody has been given uh, half of the car loan somebody has been given some other gadgets like a tab or something and you know there are some product based companies where you get food all three times free of cost there are some companies where you get transport free of cost some companies will give your phone bill all those things are the perks on top of your salary on the other hand you don't get these perks in service based companies also sometimes in product based companies you don't have most of the times you don't have any dress guidelines or strict rules what to wear and what not to wear in service based sometimes you'll have to wear formals monday to thursday so that is another thing to consider so these are the important differences between the work culture nature of the work and what kind of environment is there when it comes to a service based organization and a product based organization all these experiences are from my personal and my friends my network people's experiences that i am sharing with you someone's experience might be different from mine so i hope you like this video if yes give me a thumbs up and let me know through comments i'll see you all in the next video with another interesting topic till then stay safe take care